Hello, this is Stanley Bloomfield, and we're in Americans Connected Inc.'s The Linux Workshop. And today we're going to install a uh, Bible software program, and uh, we're going to uh, set up the modules and show you how to access the modules and maintenance modules. Um, and this software is called Xiphos, I believe. I think it's X I P H O S. And uh, so basically, come on over with your mouse and uh, on the left column, uh, select up the, uh, the little uh, briefcase bag looking thing with the A on it. And, uh, and then in the uh, search bar at the top, type in X-I-P-H-O-S. And right here's Xiphos Bible Guide. This is a... Um, this is a unbelievable library of uh, Bible uh, books and uh, what I usually do every time I get ready to install a new application I uh, click on it and then I I look to see if it's got any more plugins and this one doesn't and out of 55 uh, ratings uh, they have a four star so that means it's pretty good you might want to come down and look at the stars loaded with features uh, not a polished product I have to agree with that but I still give it I still give it five stars uh, the one and only for Ubuntu genome see so go down that that gives you a good idea of how good the uh, product actually is and so I'm gonna click install uh, the reason I'm, I'm doing this is getting the modules to work has always given me trouble and uh, uh, you know if it's in the Ubuntu Software Center uh, we should generally have absolutely no problem uh, installing programs and uh, this one it's like that guy says uh, not polished not a polished product this one he he's right so we are we're installed and uh, so I'll uh, close these back out and I'm going to oh, okay I think we're uh, alright there we go and uh, I'm going to well, I want to close that out oh there we go it's got other stuff alright now we're going to uh, click on the Xiphos icon now this part right here this is our our module manager and welcome to Xiphos there are no Bibles installed in order to initialize Xiphos needs to at least one Bible module to facilitate this the module manager has been opened so that you may install one or more Bibles either from the local module set CD-ROM flash drive or other or over the network from Crosswire Bible Society see the Crosswire Bible Society is the only repository that shows up that's what always gives me trouble uh, please refer to these step-by-step -step instructions and to the general module manager overview that has been opened um, what in Ubuntu 14 it was really tricky to get the uh, uh, Xiphos loaded up in Ubuntu 16 it's quite a bit easier uh, but I still have a few issues uh, for local install in the module sources add slash remove add a new local folder okay I, this does that automatically I don't know why they say that uh, this is where folders exist named mods period D and modules in module sources choose click local button and select your folder from the pull down uh, for network install okay we're I'm not gonna do that in either case in module install select Bibles and other okay we're, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do uh, close module manager when you're done warning if you live in a persecuted uh, country use with care uh, both this step-by-step -step instruction dialog and the general instruction dialog may be closed at any time 
All right, overview of module manager. This is Xiphos mechanism to get new and updated content content. If you have never been here before, please take a moment to look it over. Modules come from different repositories. Module sources add slash remove will show you what repositories are currently known. Module sources choose is for deciding from where the module should come, that is, from which repository Xiphos should obtain them, as well as where they should come, where they should be placed on your system. Uh, set install source and install destination, then click refresh. Modules install slash update is for selecting and obtaining modules after choosing source and destination, and then module maintenance right here, module maintenance at the bottom, is for archives and index creation. Uh, see section 5 of our manual for module manager detail or ask for help via chat or if no one is responsive in chat send email to our user mailing list. Alright, I'm gonna close that out. Now this right here is where um, a lot of the problem is module sources add remove well this is embarrassing it's all here okay alright this time this time it loaded the sources in alright see I'm gonna go add and I'm gonna let's see current local sources current remote sources see that one all right, current local sources. Okay, it's already here. All right, we can come up here, and uh, yeah, now now on my uh, Ubuntu uh, installation at my shop, it didn't populate these, and maybe I just didn't give it enough time, and so we'll go and we'll go through this anyhow. Okay, now we can come down here because our our remote sources. These are our repositories, and. Uh, what we do is we choose and I'm going to go with uh, cross cross wire like it said uh, what I do when I actually load these up I go one at a, I go through one at a time I, I pick the Bible and then after I'm done loading up everything I pick cross wire and so on and so on and okay I just I just refreshed it and now we're going to go into the modules and install and we're going to get the Bible texts and here we, you pick your language and I'm going to pick English boy it, it does that at the shop too alright I'll just pick, click on the word alright this is where Come on. Why are you doing this? Where's my English? All right, that's what I wanted. All right. All right, it closed it out. Now, what you do is you just start. What I do is I just click them all. I just go through and click them all. But but because that that takes an hour, you know, it takes a long time to, to download all the Bibles. And so I go through. I'm just going to pick the Geneva the King James Version, the Jewish the Jewish Bible and uh, let's see we'll go with uh, Webster's alright I'll pick four Bibles and then I want the um, I want the Wycliffe and then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna open up the uh, commentaries I'm gonna select English I want the task all I want Luther I want uh, the Geneva and now I'm gonna scroll down to my dictionaries I'm gonna select my English and I want uh, I want Strong's Greek and Strong's Hebrew and I want I want the Greek and Hebrew and I want 
I want the Hebrew Greek and now I'm gonna go into the glossaries I'm gonna there's nothing in English in there daily devotionals I'm gonna select up English and I might as well select all three of those now when you get to the uh, the general books there is some awesome the Pilgrim's Progress I'll load that up um, Finney's works um, Josephus uh, awesome books um, when you load up the maps those take there that's a lot all right those take a lot of work and so and I think I'll stop right here with those all right now like I said I go through and I select them all so now I'm gonna click install and these are the Bibles that I selected the Bibles commentaries and and stuff like that and I just clicked install All right. Now uh, we're going to go back in, and I'm going to choose a different repository, just to show you um, how this works. I've chosen the Bible this time, and it's done. And now I'm going to go in, and now uh, see it gives me a new list of uh, Bible texts, um, and then commentaries it's got two that the other one didn't have and there's nothing alright we're gonna go back in and choose a different one it didn't quite show me what I wanted to show you let's go with Xiphos and uh, we'll come down and refresh it and now we'll install alright Bible texts and all right, it's just got one uh, commentaries English and right there see I, I already have the Luther so in this in this uh, uh, which one is it uh, you know I can choose these other five too that right there's the wood the door wood cuts those take forever to upload so if you go through and upload everything like I usually do you're, you're it's gonna take you a good hour probably um, now there's a another aspect before we open it up um, install module type maintenance archive index scan obsolete um, looks like looks like they've changed the uh, maintenance uh, a little bit I don't have anything that needs uh, fixed all right so I'll close this back down and now the Bible module installation complete and here we have our layout now I'm I've got the diaglots and what you do how you select a different Bible I'm gonna go with a King James and you just you come in here into your modules and uh, you can put a commentary in okay so I'm gonna go into the Bible text 
I'm going to click on English and now I've got the Geneva Bible. I want to select a commentary so I'm going to select English and I'm going to task all tre tre treasury of scripture knowledge task all and I like starting in Genesis 1 1 and so in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth I've got the Geneva Bible so it, it's got the funny forms and uh, uh, so God created the heaven and the earth the light the firmament okay so verse 6 God created the firmament and so these are all the footnotes and then these are uh, all the scriptural references for in the beginning and then it talks about beginning and I just clicked on that and I can I can go to that passage of the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his ways and I want to go back to Genesis 1 1 and let's go back to modules we need a dictionary and so English and I want the Strong's uh, Greek I want the Strong's Hebrew alrighty and daily devotionals I wonder where you know I've never opened that up let's just open DVD alright I alright that replaces our dictionary so I'm gonna go back and select Strong's again Strong's let's go with Strong's Hebrew now the uh, the neat thing is I come over here and if I just put my uh, cursor anywhere in here and then right click I can go down to edit or module options and and now I uh, oh you know what I have to change my Bible I, I'm gonna have to go back to the Bible and I want the King James and now I can go in here to my put my cursor over it the uh, Strong's doesn't work with the Geneva so I right click over the text and I select my module options and I come down and click Strong's numbers so now over here in the the lower right I have that's the earth and it's Aretz from an unused portion and I have all my Strong's concordance numbers and if we go to Matthew I have my Greek Strong's Greek and this is a this is a really rough overview if uh, you want to type in pitch and this will take us to Je uh, these are all the times that the word pitch was used in the Bible and let's go here and make the an ark of gopher wood rooms shalt thou make in the ark and shalt pitch it with in and without with pitch now it's the Hebrew word 3722 with the Strong's and the second pitch is 3724 so it's a slightly different word and you can do rather in-depth um, Bible studies well extremely in-depth you know you come over here to the first time pitch was used and you come down and look at it and what Noah did when he covered the ark within and without to cover specifically with bitumen figuratively to expiate to placate or cancel and in other parts of the uh, Bible in the Old Testament it's translated an atonement so somehow in what Mo, uh, Noah did he atoned for something and so I think that that is a pretty quick uh, overview of the installation and uh, um, the installation and a, uh, a quick overview of how to use um, Xiphos and like I said just go through all them repositories and install everything and you'll have you'll have a, a Bible library that Moses would be jealous of well maybe not Moses but Peter James and John would alright thank you for uh, watching the video and have fun studying the Bible